So I was just hanging out in the Facebook community and Peter Butler asked a really good question. He sees us always going live on Facebook using Zoom, uh, the, the conference platform. And one of the things that's really hard is that when you're running a meeting in Zoom, it's not really intuitive of how to actually broadcast live. And that's because in a meeting mode, you can't actually go live. It needs to be a webinar. So join me in the WPE studio where I'm gonna show you how to go live on Facebook using Zoom webinar. Excellent, so as you've just heard, Peter has asked a great question about how to go live onto Facebook using Zoom. Now, when you're first a user of Zoom, it can be a little bit confusing because most people use Zoom as a meeting platform. And the trick is that when you're running a meeting, you can't make that go live. So let's jump into the screen and show, I'll show you how to set up a webinar, which is how you can go live on Facebook. So you need to log into the web interface of Zoom, which I've done here. I've signed into the WP Elevation Coaches one. As you can see, there's a couple of webinars already queued up for the next couple of days for our members. But when you're in Zoom, you head over and click on the webinars tab. Then once that loads, you can click on schedule a webinar. You can give the webinar a name, Ray's Epic Webinar and you can put a description. This is optional, it's not needed. You're also going to choose when this webinar is going to occur, how long it is going to occur for, the time zone, um, whether registration is required. We normally leave everything not required so we can just send a webinar link uh, with a Zoom ID and then people can just start joining the room that way. Um, it's also important to uh, keep the video off because uh, once you start the webinar, you don't really want uh, like the practice room and so forth broadcasting live straight away. It's always better to have everything off and turn things on as you know you're ready um, to, to have uh, that broadcasting live. Uh, we also enable practice mode. This is really cool as well because it means that uh, it's kind of like a little green room and uh, you get to hang out there and you can see the participants joining um, but they can't see uh, they can't see you and they've got a little waiting box to say waiting for the host uh, to start the webinar. So that's a really cool uh, way of just making sure that you've got your slides on, you're, you're sharing the right screen, what your video looks like depending if you've got multiple cameras and things like that. So that's now a webinar scheduled and Slack has just told me that there is a webinar uh, scheduled because I have a zap going off there so that was what that was about. That won't happen on your um, set up anyway. So that's basically it. Now we have the Zoom ID. This is basically the link that you'll send out to your audience. Um, if you wanted to broadcast even just you and someone else and you wanted to do like a little bit of a collaboration video, you would just send them this link and you would just have two people in the room and that will enable you to share the screen, um, share the video and run a live video using Zoom but it's actually a webinar with just two people in it. All right, so now today's the big day and you're about to do your webinar. Even if it is just with one other person and you're going to add some value into your Facebook group or your Facebook page and you wanna do it live using Zoom, um, you basically just open up Zoom and Zoom already have all the different meetings and things that are coming up. So here's the Ray's Epic webinar. You can see here it's set up to today. You can edit some of the settings if you have to, otherwise we can just basically push start. And so Zoom's going to load and it's gonna ask us some options in regards to our audio and uh, how we're going to be running it. So we're gonna join the conference using the computer's uh, audio. And as you can see here, we're in participation, in, sorry, in practice mode. So the attendees can't actually see what's happening until we hit the broadcast button. So this is a great time to kind of test the video and have a look and see if everything's great. If you're going to be sharing your screen, you can also set that up um, and make sure that everything's ready to go. Um, and then this is a little bit meta, you're gonna be seeing my screen share of me seeing myself on my webcam via another video over there, which is a bit random, but um, we'll stop the video. Uh, but we're in practice mode, we're all getting ready. People are starting to join or your other guest has joined um, and you can manage what your guests can do through the attendees list. So if you had just one other person coming on, uh, you're able to do, do all that. Um, and what happens is now that we're in a webinar mode, Zoom has this extra button here with more options and ta-da, these are all the features that aren't uh, there when you're running a meeting. So this is where you basically can now go live on Facebook, 
live on YouTube, and also if you're running a workplace team, Facebook kind of thing, workplace for, by Facebook, you can also go live there. So that'd be great if you're like doing company announcements uh, and things like that. But for today's example, we're gonna go live on Facebook and you click that button. Now there's a few little tips and tricks that we've discovered along the way. So you need to authenticate with Facebook to say yes, you want Zoom to have access. Really important that you set this option here to be public because if it's not public, then people can struggle getting onto the video feed uh, when it's on YouTube. And it also means that the video can't be shared and people can't tag friends and family. And if you're using this as a way of marketing your services, then that's a little bit of a pain point because sometimes if someone wants to share a video, uh, you'll, you've lost that opportunity. Now, once you set this at the start, it's a little bit harder to change it. So it's always good just to keep this as public. So whatever you're doing live through Zoom, uh, will always go out public. Now this will only happen the first time that you set this up. Go through the wizard and click continue and it's going to ask you for some information. You can choose which page and where you want to go live on. Um, I think we have the Rockstar Empires, uh, maybe it's not there. Um, anyway, you can choose which page you want to go live on. I thought we had the experimental, experimental page, but we don't. Maybe it's a group. Uh, it might be a group. No. Oh, well, um, I will just go live on my feed and then I'll delete it. What I do for this video and to show you how to use Zoom. So we go live. Now, what happens is Zoom will automatically redirect you to the live broadcasting. And this is what's a bit weird because if you've got your sound on, you're going to be able to hear yourself back through uh, this channel. So that's why if sometimes you're watching what Troy and what we're doing uh, and some of the coaches, you hear themselves through the live video through, as you can see that's happened so that's here. Sometimes it's okay to close that tab as soon as you've gone live because now Zoom is what's controlling the fact that you're live and even though you're in practice mode, you're actually now live because this feature here um, overrides the practice mode. So in order for me not to confuse what's going on, I'm gonna stop that live stream and that's how simple it is to basically broadcast a live Facebook video using Zoom. So I hope you've found that this video super helpful and it is definitely a question that we get all the time because we are using Zoom and going live onto Facebook, but everyone seems to struggle on how to find that feature. And that's because you're probably running a meeting and the feature little button is not there. So make sure you set up a webinar, um, have the ability to go live in practice, authenticate your page, and then moving forward, whenever you get that bright idea to push this content live, you could be in the middle of a meeting and you just think, gee, this is really good. I wanna push this live, but you do need to set it up as a webinar. You can't use the out of the box meeting ID. So I hope you found that really useful. I'm Ray Miladoni with WP Elevation. Until next time, go elevate. <laughs>